Welcome to CC Fashion. In this video, I'm going to put you through how I made this student blazer. In my previous video, I have shown you how to cut and I've also shown how to cut the sleeve part of it. So now we're just going to put everything together. So let's move right into the video. To start with, I started with cutting the lining. So these are the pieces that I made in the other video. So check the link below. You're going to see the link to the videos that I drafted and cut this blazers and the sleeves. So I'm going to start with the back panel. So I'll basically spray out my lining. This is a suit lining and I'll cut the back. So to cut the back, I had to cut it out just as you can see falling through my slit and it passed straight to the back part of it so that's what I did for the lining and that is it for the back part so when it comes to the arm where I left like half inch and the rest I didn't leave any allowance then I went ahead and cut for the front also and all the lining was shorter by two inches then I'm going to bring out this straight line that you've seen the other parts of it will be the facing so this is my trouser cut this is the one i use in drafting the suit so i'm going to cut exactly the same thing for the facing and i am spraying out my fabric at this point to bring out the facing just as you can see to do that i placed the front panel of my blazers just as you can see matching the line to the edge of the outfit that i've spread out i mean the fabric that i have spread out and that is what i got there you see how i'm trying to extend the line to fit in just accordingly because i only need the front part of it to form my uh facing so after that i went ahead to trim it to follow the line just as you can see and watch how i am cutting it okay now i am done cutting the facing and this is what i have here see so that is it for the facing if you place it up like this you see that it matches at the line that i drew out at the front of it so that forms my facing so i'm going to use this uh, facing as a guard to cut the remaining part of the front piece which is going to be on the lining so here after marking out one inch as you see that's one inch on the lining so i'm going to put the facing that i cut to match up with the one inch line just watch what i'm going to do if you are sewing it by 0 0.5 you can match a you can just mark the one inch if you're sewing it by 0 0.25 you can mark 0 0.5 so after matching it that way i'm going to place my front over like that following the facing to the lining this is the easiest way to cut the front panel of the suit of course there are other methods that you can use but this is what works out for me so i'm going to basically trim it off following the the main piece like so remember that this is just uh, the front piece joined together with the side piece actually in this in drafting this student suit i didn't create the side piece so at this point i'm just slitting open the lining because the lining was unfold as such i want it to be two pieces so that's what i have for cutting the front panel of this suit 
and even if I cut it to be one piece, that's the side piece and the front piece to be one piece, I later created an illusion that made it to be two pieces. So on the lining of the sleeve, I'll just fold up two inches, that's the seam allowance, and then I'm going to cut the rest of the things the same and I also fold in my slit space the slit allowance that I created on the sleeve and I will cut everything the same and that is what I'm doing there you can see how I am following through the sleeve carefully then when I get to this point I'm going to still fold over that slit allowance because I don't need it on the lining then I'll cut it out just like that and that's the same thing I'm going to do for the under piece that's the smaller piece I'm going to do the same thing and yeah I'm ready for my suit sleeve lining now watch how I cut it carefully. I just have to allow you to watch as I'm cutting so you can learn from this. So I'm done cutting the sleeves. You see what I have there. You can see that I did not add the slits allowance while cutting both the under piece and the upper piece like so so you can see what I have there okay so after what I'm going to cut um, this hair stair you can see I have my hair stair so I'm going to cut it for the front panel and I'm going to also cut it for the front facing then I'll cut it for some parts of the back like the armhole the neckline and I'm going to cut it for some parts of the sleeves like that then this is how it's going to follow the sleeve caps height that's how I'm going to cut it. So at this point, I will add my ester there on the sleeve. Then also at the back part, this is what I'm going to add around this armhole point and around the neckline. I'll just add it. Then on the hemming allowance, I may choose to add it. And on the slit space, I will add it. So this is the essay always remember to use your original essay because if you don't use something original you know the outcome will not give you what you need so always use something original so that when you apply it to your fabric it will not uh, it will not squeeze or it will not be worn out when the fabric is washed when the outfit is washed so you need to use original stuffs to get the best out of it so mine i got an original suit estate so i'm done cutting the estate all i'm going to do is just to place it on the fabric and then iron it on the wrong side remember to iron it on the wrong side of the fabric not on the right side so this is my facing in which I'm also going to cut the ester for the facing because that's always very important except your fabric is a little bit sturdy even when it is sturdy you still need to apply ester at some point you cannot overemphasize the, the the usefulness of this material called este so don't always omit using your interface especially when you're making blazers so it's very important it's very very important 
so that's it for the the facing the front facing and I have already applied on the sleeves that's what I mean so look at how it looks like on the sleeve and also on the back panel guys that's what we have for cutting of the lining and the stays coming up next is going to be how I sew it so kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell in my next video on suit after this one I would ensure that the sewing aspect of it is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial so just stay clued because we have a lot on this channel thank you see you in my next video bye